Hi guys, it's Amy. For those of you who have a hard time keeping your head still from moving side to side, or if you have some injuries in your ribs, your upper back, or your elbows and your shoulders, I'm going to talk about why these things um, happen, what causes these things, and how we can go about fixing it. So when you have injuries in your upper body and your head moves side to side, uh, when I hear these combinations, I don't really have to take a look at your swing, but I kind of have an idea how you swing. So basically, those of you who swing with tension in your wrists, forearms, and shoulders, and you use arms to swing, kind of looks like this. So when your arms are tense and you swing with the arms, your neck gets tense as well. So your head gets pulled side to side. You saw that, right? So basically, you're using the arms and your body is getting tugged around. So to hit it properly, you're actually supposed to use your body to create power and that impact you create goes transfers into the golf ball and it flies high and it goes far. But if you use the arms, the impact, the smash at impact does not get transferred into the ball. So it kind of dives and it goes short. And that smash actually transfers into your body. And I've seen a lot of people get fractured ribs, knots in their upper backs um, and frequent golfer's elbow injuries or constant uh, pain in their shoulders. So we have to relax your arms first if, you, if this is the case for you, right? So there's a saying in golf, it takes three years to relax your arms. So it's not the easiest task, but it is achievable. You just got to take it step by step. So the first step to relaxing your arms would be checking your grip. If you have proper grip, then it's so much easier to relax your arms. But if you have the wrong grip, then it's really hard to relax your arms. So check your grip. And step number two would be you have to be able to recognize which muscles are tense and which muscles are relaxed. So if you have the ability to, ability to recognize that, then in the future, it's going to make swing changes so much easier. And step number three is kind of goes with the step number two, but you have to be able to control the pressure in your body. So basically, for those of you who have pressure in your arms, try and put that pressure into your thighs, hips, and abs, and relax your shoulders throughout the whole golf swing. But in the beginning, you will feel how once you start the golf swing, you will lose the pressure in the legs and it will go into your shoulders. So you got to keep practicing it, find your uh, way to really keep them in the lower body the whole time. If you're able to feel your uh, tension and control your tension, step number four would be from swinging with the arms, you got to kind of change up the sequence so you're swinging and creating power with the body. So these four steps is more of a long-term goal. Um, you just kind of have to spread it out and take it one step at a time and fix them. Eventually you'll get there. But today I'm going to show you this one great practice swing drill to help you relax your arms right away. So we're going to do practice swings in a row. So when I ask a student to do this, they actually start doing this. So you see how the shoulders don't turn at all and you use the arms a lot and go really fast. So it's not a race. Um, when you're doing the practice swings in a row, I actually need you to pay attention to three things. You have to, your body has to rotate a lot and your arms have to be relaxed and you have to feel the weight of the club head. So three things, watch. Compared to how I, how I was doing it before, my body will be turning a lot more. You see, I mean, you can tell with my shoulders, it's rotating way more and my arms are relaxed, so they're extending nicely and you hear the swish because that's created by the weight of the club head. So that's basically what I want you to do. When you're doing this, um, you have to feel the weight of the club head on the way down, maybe three feet in front of the golf ball right here. And then on the way back, don't use your arms and rush back, but rotate back, you're going to feel the weight of the club head right here where the golf ball is. 
So downswing is over here, coming back is at the golf ball. So when you're doing this, your arms are relaxed, right? So when you feel the weight of the club head, the club head is going to pull the arms to extend nicely at both point positions. So watch again. So you're rotating. You see how on the way down my arms are nice and relaxed three feet in front of the golf ball because of the rotation, relaxed arms and weight of the club head. So really try and figure out uh, what kind of swing you have. If you're swinging with a lot of arms and you have like the head moving and pain in your upper body, do a lot of these practice swings so you can hear the swish and feel the weight of the club head and do a lot of them so your practice swing and your actual swing over the ball actually matches. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and hit the golf ball. When you're hitting the golf ball, the most important thing is you cannot focus on hitting the golf ball because if you do that, you are not paying attention to your body and you'll go right back to your old swing. So even though you're looking at the golf ball, you should be seeing that nice extension, feeling the weight of the club pad three feet in front of the golf ball. So that's what I'm seeing right now, okay? Have to have a very good imagination. So really focus in in your body, feel the rotation, Arms relaxed and club head pulling your arms to extend. I hope you're able to follow along. If you have any questions, please come visit me at my website or email me and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.